2021. The next stage of our travels, big decision was made and we decided to come across to the Air Peninsula due to the whole COVID thing flaring up in Victoria and New South Wales. In this movie, we just explore the um, eastern coast and small towns of Tumby Bay, Louth Bay, Arno Bay, Port Neil, Cow, before making our way down to Port Lincoln and Coffin Bay, where we spend the majority of the time. <music> After visiting those small towns on the eastern air, we get to Port Lincoln Town and we spend a couple of days there exploring and stocking up on some supplies. We are then booked into the Lincoln National Park for three nights. We book a campsite to base camp at Surfleet Cove with the hopes of visiting some beautiful beaches and other points of interest. And we hear that there's some um, rocky four-wheel drive tracks that we can take. So we really look forward to exploring those. enjoying the Port Lincoln National Park. So Surfleet Cove Campground we really really liked. We actually camped um, up the back, we got a site up the back and we think actually it was a bit of a ripper because you were away from all the other people and you had great views uh, looking down into the cove um, because of the gradient of the ground. Um, there's some beautiful bushwalks from there so a couple of mornings we get up and we did some bushwalks which is fantastic um, and then we went off exploring the different areas within the National Park over the first couple of days and um, the last day was absolutely glorious sunshine still weather so we went back to September Beach where we just had that beach day just sitting on the sand and swimming and just having a real summer's day which was yeah really really fantastic so overall we really did enjoy our time in the Lincoln National Park.
next stop over a couple of days is to Coffin Bay Town. This is a cute little town um, and we were so, so excited to do the famous oyster tour. So we just stayed at the Caravan Park, which is right in town and right opposite Oyster HQ. And I tell you what, it had the most beautiful sunset views. Um, the oyster tour was fantastic. We got our waders on um, and then we went out onto the little pontoon. They explained how oysters are farmed and then they taught us how to shuck our own oysters and we got to taste them. Dave has eaten oysters before and he, he likes them. I had never tasted oysters before, so I had to do it. Um, being in Coffin Bay, you just had to do it. Um, yeah, maybe not my favourite food, but anyway, it was interesting. <laughs> So after our overnight stay in Coffin Bay Township, we just take the small drive out to the National Park, so Coffin Bay National Park. Again, we give ourselves three nights uh, to explore this national park. We based ourselves at Yangi Bay Campground, which we realised afterwards was a very good idea with the camper. So. As soon as you come into the National Park, it's there on the bitumen, unhook the camper and then we can go off exploring. Um, yeah, we thought Lincoln National Park was amazing, which it absolutely is, but wow, this National Park was so spectacular. <music> Coffin Bay National Park has been absolute blast. Um, it has very sandy tracks. So there's one main track after the campground to most of the attractions of the park. Um, absolute fun four-wheel driving. It's quite a long track, so we worked out it was probably best to get up early and then just head straight out so we could get all the way out to uh, the main areas to have a look at and just enjoy that full driving. Um, there's some great views along the way, some beautiful campsites if you were car-based camping. Um, it was really, really great and quite frankly it was a great nice challenge for our ute. We did miss our Jeep Wrangler um, because it would be an absolute paradise for the Jeep um, one day perhaps. <music>
So we'd been told about Memory Cove um, that we must go visit. Um, it's quite a popular place, so we had to wait towards the end of our trip um, over this area because we realised that the COVID situation was settling down in New South Wales, Victoria, and that we were going to head back. So Memory Cove, two nights, amazing, absolute beach paradise. You need to get the key. They only have five keys for campers and then 10 more keys per day to give you access. It is quite a long four-wheel drive track in, but nothing hard. It's just you need to take your time. So we, again, struck the best weather and we just had lazy beach days, um, stand-up paddleboard and all that sort of stuff. Um, cocktails uh, made our own and just really really enjoyed the absolute peace and quiet and remoteness <music> Thank you so much for watching.